Hello everybody, welcome to Healthy Conscious. Thank you for clicking, my name's Nikolai. Now this one goes out to all my Ninja Creamy owners and future slash potential Ninja Creamy owners. So why am I so excited about this, you ask? Well, you know, first, I'm that guy that's at the job talking about this Ninja Creamy thing. I think anyone who A, loves ice cream and is conscious about their calories and protein intake should get themselves a Ninja Creamy. Now, this is one of these um, things that I would go to, like a sushi restaurant that I go to, and one of the desserts they give us is a uh, like a street toast thing, so they call it like a Korean street toast. Um, I didn't know much about it, but it's delicious. And while we're eating it, I'm realizing I could totally do an anabolic version of this. So this is kind of my take on that. Now I was gonna get a little more complicated with it and like do like some air fryer type things with the bread. But you know what, that goes against what I try to do and I try to keep it as simple as possible because to me, that's the way to sustain this thing. So, um, you know, if you've already uh, do anabolic French toast, I'd probably skip the part about the French toast. Just make your French toast the way you make your French toast. And, uh, you know, do the other part, even with the ice cream, um, I happen to like butter pecan ice cream, so that's the one I typically make a lot. So that's what's included in this recipe. Um, you know, use your favorite ice cream. Do it the way you do it. And, and you know, another thing, if you don't have a Ninja Creamy, um, this might not be the video for you. However, if you have an ice cream recipe, you know, just use this as an inspiration. You don't need to watch this whole video. Just look at what I made and make something similar for yourself. You know, uh, I'm gonna tell you, like, when I first time I did it, uh, I was like, oh my God, this is amazing. And, you know, my kids loved it. Uh, I definitely, definitely, definitely was a big fan of this this as a dessert or a meal or a breakfast. I don't know. I think you could eat it at any time of the day. So if you could, you know, give it a watch, give it a try, and let me know what you think. Thank you. All right, let's get this thing started. So I like to take a shaker cup, then I put 300 grams of unsweetened almond milk, then 75 grams of a sugar-free coffee creamer, then about 10 grams of your favorite sweetener. I use stevia, then two grams of a xanthan gum, and then five grams of a pudding mix. And then I'm gonna put 40 grams of a protein blend. This is what I use. And then take about 10 grams of a sugar-free maple syrup. Then about five grams of a butter pecan extract. And then you're just gonna shake it up in that shaker cup. Keep shaking it, shake, 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 shake. Keep shaking it up and open it up and then pour it into your Ninja Creamy pint. And then once you've emptied everything into the pint, you wanna slap that lid on it. Then you wanna take that and throw that bad boy in the freezer for a day. And the next day, come back to it. Start with 15 grams of some chopped pecans. Spray a little I cannot believe it's not butter on it. I don't know why I left this picture, but that's what it looks like. So you want to take some brown sugar replacement. I use Swerve. Put as much as you like. And then just shake it up in that bowl. Then you want to take a pan. Put it on medium heat. Spray it with some nonstick, of course. And then just take those pecans and pour them in the pot. And then you're gonna wanna stir them up and keep kinda steadily stirring them, don't let them sit. Then in a mixing bowl, you wanna take 200 grams of egg whites, then take about 10 grams of vanilla extract, throw some sweetener, again, I use stevia. Then you're gonna add as much cinnamon as you like in your French toast. And of course, you're gonna whisk it up until it's a nice egg wash for that French toast. Ooh, I love French toast. <laughs> then you wanna take a pan, put it on medium heat, then get the lowest calorie bread you can find. Get four slices. This is what I use. Hit your pan with some nonstick, and then dip your uh, bread in the egg wash and throw it on the pan. I like to do it two at a time because I don't really like to stress about it. So then, you know, throw it on a plate. Then I'll take two other slices of bread and do the same thing till I have four servings of this. One for me, two for my kids, one for my wife. For my kids, I do a little chopping it up uh, so it's easy for them to eat. At this point, I go get my pint out of the freezer, pop the lid, it looks a little something like this. And then what you're gonna wanna do is throw it in your Ninja Creamy. Now you start with the, uh, the initial type of ice cream you want. I always pick the ice cream one. Truthfully, I've never tried the other ones, but ice cream works for me. And be warned if you haven't used this thing, it gets pretty loud. Then you wanna take it out, check it out. You need to do it again. So you throw it back in and do what they call a respin. And it goes through the process again. 
and you'll notice as you take it out it looks a little bit more and more like ice cream now i like to scrape the edges uh, it gets kind of icy i've heard other people do other tricks um this is just what i do it makes it work for me respin that bad boy again and it goes to the process and you kind of just keep doing this until you like the consistency in which your ice cream is i feel i need to do it like four to five times i believe so i'm gonna throw it one more time and it's gonna go through the respin and you can see it working see it working once it's done take it out and then uh mush it around you want to create a kind of hole for your mix-ins that's where i'm gonna put the pecans so i just take the pecans dump them in there hit that mix-in button and next thing i know bam butter pecan ice cream then i'm gonna get some sugar-free whipped cream and some sugar-free chocolate syrup take each slice of bread and put some ice cream and some chocolate syrup and whipped cream and there you have it for everything here, 745 calories and 64 grams of protein. Per serving, that's 190 calories and 16 grams of protein. Check out my channel for fast, convenient, low-calorie anabolic meal ideas and for other healthy content.